Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine with a four-card spread. This is for all zodiac signs. It's a weekend energy, daily energy for the weekend for Saturday and Sunday, the 7th and the 8th. So this is a weekend energy for all zodiac signs. Remember, it's a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, come back for another reading or contact me with the information down below for a personal reading. Let's get started. For the first one, we have the Fool in the Reverse, the Two of Cups in the Reverse, the Strength, and the Star. Okay, let's see what we have. This is for all Zodiac signs. The Fool in the Reverse, okay? That represents that you were off on a new adventure. Let's see if I can get some light here. Maybe you were off on a new adventure. You packed your little bags. You were off, you know, tra-la-la-la-la with, <laughs> with your little flower in your hand. But... You weren't paying attention where you were going. You were looking up, and you fell off the cliff. Here's a little dog barking, saying, no, 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 stop. You're going to fall off the cliff, but you weren't listening. I'm sorry. You weren't paying attention. You weren't listening. Um, you weren't listening to other people's advice, so you fell off the cliff. So here you are in the reverse. Okay. So with the reverse, it seems like you're going to have delays, maybe a few delays, a few troubles, um, maybe this is in the past position, so this probably already happened. Um, you, you had a few un, unwise decisions to make, or you made some unwise choices along your path, along your way. Um, yeah, so, and, and it led you to un, unsatisfactory, I'm hearing unsatisfactory con, experiences. And you, you're wanting freedom too fast. I'm seeing that you're wanting freedom or something way too fast, and you weren't able to handle what was coming on down the road, later down the road. So maybe you were a young person wanting to move out of your parents' home, or, excuse me, uh, maybe you left a, a job too soon, or you could have left a relationship too soon, or something like that. But it didn't go well because you, you moved too fast. Okay, so here we have the... Two of Cups in the reverse. So it looks like this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And this other one here is uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So you could have been involved with the Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But the Two of Cups is in the reverse. So there's no there's no love here. See, in the upright, they're showing each other love. And it goes on for infinity. Okay, but in the reverse, there's no love. There's disagreements, arguments, um unhappy unions but the couple still has a desire to connect only someone has to make the right move first so i'm seeing that if you were in an argument with someone and you left and then things didn't go right after you left you might want to get back together but someone has to make the first move so either you or the other partner has to lead you have to lead and go first um yeah i'm seeing a misunderstanding with a good friend or a loved one disagreements i keep hearing that over and over um yeah someone has to make the first move uh but someone is stubborn I'm, I'm hearing someone stubborn unwilling to give assistance um and someone's letting their emotions run away with them maybe they're overthinking um but there's no balance but there is a need to communicate i'm seeing there's a great great need to communicate um, I'm seeing loss of balance in a close relationship. Yeah. So I'm seeing possessiveness, possessiveness, jealousy. Maybe that's what severed the relationship. Um, but you need to understand the other person's feelings as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, maybe sit down and talk to them. So sometimes this card comes up when you're at a, a point of breaking off a relationship. Maybe you haven't broken up yet, but maybe you want to. Or are going to um, but the problems can be resolved and you can get back in the upright like this but someone's got to make the first move so that's what basically this card is telling you someone has to make the first move <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me and um, now we have the strength so you see how the woman is shutting the lion's mouth so the strength the lion is coming in with a roar so this is how your situation this represents your situation Whatever situation you're in, it's coming in like the lion with a huge roar that's making you nervous, depressed, crying, whatever. And the woman's trying to shut the lion's mouth. So that means she's gathering her strength. 
And see, here's the infinity sign again. So that means whatever you do from this point on is going to last for a long time. So you need to gather your strength. This card is here to tell you to gather your strength, move forward, move ahead with your plans. There's a lot of yellow in the background, so that means a brand new day is coming. So once you gather your strength and you've got to the point to where you are able to confront somebody or go talk to your boss about the job, go talk to your friend about what they did, whoever did you dirty, that's um, the person you need to talk to so you can get things back on, on an even keel is what I'm hearing. You know, there's no such thing as being afraid. You know, that's just a, an, an emotion out of thoughts and feelings that you have. You can control that because I'm hearing fear. I'm hearing something about fear. You can control that fear. Fear comes from your thoughts and your emotions. Whatever it is that you're thinking or feeling at the time, that's where fear comes in from. So you can um, you can control that. You can control that from within. Okay, but gather your strength and go talk to wh whoever is the person that upset you or that you severed ties from or left the relationship from, you know. Okay, yeah. So now after you do that, here comes the star. So once you do that, you're going to be balanced like her. See, there's a little message, bird bringing in a message, and the message here is balance. Okay, so once you gather your strength and you've talked to the person you need to, you're going to be like this woman here. Here's a star in the back. Excuse me. All the pet all the stars around her. So that's good luck coming. Okay, and she's got one leg on land, one foot on water. That represents balance. See how she's pouring the vial here, the vial here. So she's trying to balance her whole life out. And I see you trying to do the same thing. You know, once you get to the point where you can speak your mind, speak your emotions, and, um, you know, talk about what it is that you need to talk about to the person that you broke up with or severed ties with, or maybe it was a job situation, then you're going to be in this position here like, like the lady in the star, she has everything under the sun that she could want for. She's got balance in her life. With this card, I'm seeing the the words come up: courage, hope, inspiration from above. Um, yeah, uh, you also get the feeling that you have like you have a feeling that anything is possible as long as you believe in it. Which this is true. That's why I say speak things into existence, write things down. You can influence the universe to go your way. That's why I said, you know, a lot of people uh, do influences. You can do bad influences, which is what I call voodoo or hexes. And then there's good influences, which is where you influence manifesting things into existence by just speaking on them or writing things down. That's what, that's all that is. Okay. So um, you can influence the universe to go your way. You can influence your life to go your way just by speaking things into existence. You can manifest anything. That's what this card represents. So you can manifest anything once you have balance in your life. All you got to do is wish it, wish it, speak it, speak it into existence, and you're going to create good energy. I see good health. If some of you are having bad health, I see your health improving this weekend. I see some of you having an optimistic attitude which is going to win you something. You're going to win something. I'm seeing somebody winning something, maybe a prize, maybe the lottery. Who knows? Go to the go to my video down below where I uh, put the lottery numbers up because I see this is a good day to gamble. If you're out and about today, buy a lottery ticket. Uh, today's Saturday, the 7th, March 7th. Go out and buy a lottery ticket. Actually, we're gonna Mercury goes retrograde on the 10th. So it just is only two days away. All right. So you can start buying lottery tickets and hope they manifest. Um, also, I see great love will be given and received. So if you're in this situation here where you severed ties and then once you get your strength here to um, talk to someone, I see a relationship here where great love is going to be given and received from both of you. You're both going to be sharing your love for one another, and you're going to become... See, because it falls right underneath the cups. Once you get to all that, you're going to bring this card around, and you're going to be in this position again. These cards can only go two ways. This is a court card. They call it a court card. You can flip it. Okay, once you do what the advice that was given to you, you can flip this court card, and you'll be back upright in this position here, which is where we all want to be, right? So once you talk to the person you need to talk to, get things back 
and, and I even kill, I keep hearing that word, even kill, then I see great love being given and received from one another, from each other. You're going to be sharing that cup of love again. And then the infinity sign will go on, keep going on. Yeah, so this is not a bad card to have, and it's not a bad reading. So all of you that are in a situation like that this weekend, you know, manifest things, you know, talk to the person you need to, and get back upright like in the the two of cups here all right i see an abundance an abundant life someone once you get back up right i see an abundant life coming i see worldly goods coming in and everyone can share an abundant life all you have to do is have faith i'm here and all you have to do is have faith all right guys this is your weekly energy reading for march 7th and 8th Whew, I'm tired. I'm going to go lay back down. So thank you for watching, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments down below of what you want to hear next. And if you want a personal reading, contact me and I'll contact you back. This is for all believers of tarot card reading. Those of you that don't believe, you can go watch something else. All right. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.